<laughs> All right, welcome to Match Point on this day, uh, the tenth of March, twenty sixteen. Uh, I am Jade. Uh, with me is TJ and Frosty. Hello. I'm sorry, I did it bad. I don't even have the presentation open. It's on the screen, but I can't see it. Nice. We're off to a great start. All right, so. All right, I'm in now. Are you ready? I am so ready. Frost your fans and chat. <laughs> it's a Do good I caster. Really? You're a good no, caster. This is crazy. What, you having fans or them being in chat? You know what, TJ? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So right off the bat, we have a section called News. Uh, we're starting with the MLG Trophy. This is not really news so much as community discussion. Uh, Frost, I think you have a sexual partner in chat. I wasn't really expecting that. I have my chat's loading right now. I don't know who's talking. Well, I, perky, I can't see perky yet. 2K kinda wants oh to my, it's perky, me. dude. Oh no. <laughs> well, oh mean, no. If we're talking baby making, perky isn't a bad thing. <laughs> uh, MLG Trophy, the creation was live streamed. The final product weighs over 11 kilograms and looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I like the crambits out the front, but you know, it, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if it'd be big enough or if it was, I don't know what it's made of, so. Well, if it's 11. I... Oh, sorry. Um, I haven't actually seen a picture of this. I just I'm looking at it right now, but it's it's pretty unique. I think at least they all they all look so different though. Like all the trophies are just so different every year. But I really like that. Uh, I can't remember which event it was, but it was like a huge cup. It almost looked like the Stanley. Like, it was like a it was a huge cup, and it was probably my favorite trophy. But this one's pretty cool too. I don't know. I don't really have like a I think, opinion that, on it. I think that might have been uh, Katowice or Cologne. Oh, I think it was Katowice, yeah. Yeah. The problem with the Cologne trophies for me is they never looked like a Counter-Strike specific trophy, and this is the first trophy I've seen that really does have something to do with Counter-Strike. Yeah, with the Grambits. I don't, I don't really know. I don't really like them. They're just sort of out of place, you know? I don't know. I'm a fan. Uh, in other news, Hiko was announced as the in-game leader. Ooh. Yeah, I I would have liked better Simple because he's just more of an all-around player. But, I mean, Hiko has been just there for so long, so I guess, yeah, that makes sense. To have him as the in in-game leader. I think he's pretty experienced, personally. I've been, like... Nico's just developed so much over time. He's just like, even without being on a team, he's just still been playing so much. So I think it could it could end up well, but it's kind of like the same thing with Cloud9 right now where they don't have like a super qualified in-game leader. So it would be nice to have more of a coach role come in. But I think Hiko will be fine. The only thing is that he's such a good lurker. But um, besides that, I think it could end up playing a good part in their team. I don't know. You know, what's really interesting to me is that he's been one of the harshest critics of the NA scene. He's always been the guys talk about how terrible the mentality is and all that, and now he's leading a team. So to me, this is his chance to kind of put his, put his money where his mouth is, as it were. Right, because now he's got a team of the some of the best players in North America. Not all of them, but I would say Liquid is definitely one of the strongest. And yeah, he's in charge, and I'd love to see some massive improvement happen. Yeah, now that Cloud Nine's just gotten worse since uh, Gera's left, and yeah, they're they're stepping up to being better than Cloud Nine. You know what's interesting about C9 actually is that I don't know if they've gotten one yet, but last time I checked, which was like a week ago maybe, they still don't have a coach on their team. 
Like, you would think that ever since Sean left and they need a new in-game leader, like, they would at least try and get a new coach to help out. But I guess they're just trying to find someone that's, I'm like, more ad, qualified. I don't know if it's from you or ever I'm hearing an ad. And they need a new in-game leader. So, like, they would at least try and get a new coach to help out. I Tom don't know. Killed it. I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> The, the Twitch stream opened on a window and decided it needed to play me an ad. I apologize. Yeah, South Park reference right there. The ads are alive. I They were chasing. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you were talking about Sean, but I was, you know, Sean always makes me space out. Uh, he left Cloud9 and they need a coach. Yeah, I, I see Adren should be a coach, but... I don't know if he wants well, anything to do with CS he, after he got he dropped by. He does have the capability to definitely be a mid-tier player, right? We saw him mm -hmm. up at uh, the Major, and he was not outstanding, but he was definitely decent. He's offing this Major, too, so... Well, we'll the weird thing out. about Duran, I think, he's such a all-over-the-place player, because, like, you see him try to IGL and it doesn't really work out because a lot of IGLs are allowed to like, you know, not frag out for the most part is as long as they can like be a super good IGL and like carry the rest of the team as far as strats go. But Adren's never really like, I don't know how he is in game while leading, but like if you look at his YouTube videos and like when he's the second strat caller or like the backup caller, I feel like he does way better because he's just, He's got less pressure or something. I don't know what it is for him, but his like YouTube videos are actually really on point and they're like really informational. And like when he's the second person, I feel like it would help more. So coaching could work out for him or like not. Yeah, I don't if know. I just uh, him, not being the in-game leader. If I were him, I would not want to coach uh, Team Liquid after they threw him out. Um, oh, that's true. Yeah, I'd go for a team that like I could I know if I coach them like so so much that they can beat the team that threw me out. So that's sort of like haha in your face, screw you. <laughs> this yeah. is a movie revenge story which you're building here. Yep. Yeah, so if he if he does decide to keep going with Counter Strike, he should really coach for uh Cloud Nine. That's just my opinion though. I I mean I'd love to see him play more, especially after, especially after the event we saw. Uh, at the minor or major qualifier, whatever our correct terminology is, he's he really looked impressive. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I after the major, you have to see him play again. You know, during the major and whenever. Then I don't know if he's gonna try to play as best as he can though. Because he's already off the team, Koost is already back on it. So, yeah, no. I don't know. He's he definitely has the potential in my mind to be a really good IGL or even just a better player. But I feel like his opping just isn't. It's not bad. Like you can't say that any player at that level is a bad player. I think that's unfair. Like when you watch, mm -hmm. like Thorn made a video about Adren and just completely trashed on him. And then the rest of the community was like, oh, yeah, we love Thorin, F Adren. But, like, honestly, I don't think he's a bad player. I just think, I I don't know, he just doesn't, he's not all there. If you look at the other oppers that are in, like, that he's going up against, he just doesn't stand a chance. Like, some of them are just so much better than him that it makes him look not as good, even though he's, in reality, he's not a bad player. It's just who he compares to is just so much better. Like, if you put him up against... Guardian in his peak, or Kenny in his peak, or just even JW at all. Like, it's if you just look at the matchup, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, it's it's in my mind, it's not really fair to say he's not a bad player, he's just bad for being a professional because then he's a professional. So, in the context of a professional, if he's bad, then he's a bad player, right? Yeah, but he's a good, he's a good, like, he, he's playing on like a tier one tier two team he should be playing on a tier three or four team that's like tier three or four is probably better for him probably like around just, his skill level 
I don't want to say like because I just want to find a way to say that he has potential to be a better player, like and that he's not awful right now. Like in the grand scheme of just even all the people that he competes again against, like he's just he doesn't he doesn't have what it what it need what he takes to you know go up against people like JW in my mind. But in the future, I feel like he could. So that's why I wouldn't necessarily rule him out as a potentially great player. But I I don't know. He's there's a lot of like mixed opinions on Adren. It's just all over the place with like what people think about him. So. I can't. There's no like answer to it in my mind. I don't know. He oh, could. You could coach for a team. I'd love to see him playing on an enemy or or a minor NA team. One of these teams that has money. There you go. TSM. I hear they're looking for a player. Uh, if they want mm. some decent player with some decent experience, bring an Adron. Or Whitmer too, because Whitmer has been looking for a team and he's did crazy I, offer. I, this is unsubstantiated. I saw this in a Reddit thread. I saw that Whitmer had turned down uh, the chance to play for TSM. Mm. But that's just Reddit. Should we move on? Uh, Yeah, we can move on to the E-League. Um, the E-League team. teams were announced. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited and horrified at the same time. Because on one hand, it's really cool to see all these teams like uh, Astralis and mm. some European talent really actually playing in the league, but on the other hand, the fact that their first announcement contains names like uh, Renegades and Cloud9 is a little bit worrying. Yeah, but at least like most of the teams qualified for the major. Actually, all of them but Renegades did, so... It's it's a, I don't know. It'll be cool just to see uh, it on TV. So that's that's just a start for them. Once more teams will be like interested in it, then they'll probably get rid of the worst teams like Renegades and. Well, the money. What I'm worried about is that if the first season goes badly, that we're not going to see a second season for more teams to get interested in. So they can actually. These teams who are deciding not to get involved in the league, like Nosh has been there, could actually st- stand a chance of ruining this opportunity. And if this TV, if this TV deal goes down, not working, then I don't think anyone else is going to step up and say that seems like a good idea. This esports thing. Yeah, with the Turner, with the Turner League, they did. Uh... They did the like the sort of pilot thing with it, and it, it it seemed pretty good, but it was only in the states, so I'm I'm not sure how that really worked out. All right, are we fully set to move on? Because I need to click a button on this end, and it's hard. Yeah, I think I, so. I believe so. Yeah. Boom. Okay. Now we are actually. I just got a little bloop de bloop. Um, Supermine has a <laughs> raffle, which is ongoing, and we will be drawing the winners at the end of this stream. And that is for several skins, I believe a water elemental, high value counter strike skins are being drawn. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if Supermine wants to put a link in chat or anything. But, now we're on to the league news for the Reddit Ladder League, and we have the top three teams as faction with their quality uh, logo. That a staff member made. I think it was you, Jade. Was it you? <laughs> what What did I do? Did you make the S faction logo? No, I made. Uh, I had made something else in paint. I didn't make a spectrum. <laughs> well, this is <laughs> another. Think. We made these MS Paint logos in an attempt to shame teams into creating actual logos, and it really didn't work. <laughs> and <laughs> you know it's what? Two very good. It's Very kind of, good logos. It's kind of growing on me. I would the say meme. of the logos there, it's much better than Tower Esports or VLG. <laughs> nice meme. <laughs> Can't take you seriously. But it is interesting. Uh, VLG versus Aspection, the match is happening tonight at about 6, I believe. I don't know if we'll be able to stream that, but... That is, both teams are currently in first place, and both teams have been absolutely 
dominating their opposition, so I would love to see what's about to happen. Yeah. Um, I haven't watched any of their games. Maybe a little bit of VLG, but I haven't watched anything of Tower Respection, so... I mean, they should be pretty good considering they are top teams in the league right now. So it should be quality games. Yeah. Um, also, this week, the finals. Well, first of all, let's let's skip down a bit. First of all, we got a new logo set up. We're going to be rebranding over the course of this week. You can see it in the top right-hand corner of this slide. Um, but we also released a whole bunch of information about the finals. Uh, they'll be happening the week after the Major in Columbus, the weekend after, and it will be the top eight teams in a single elimination tournament over two days. And it will be exciting. I actually really like that new logo. Ice, yeah. Ice TVGG just followed the stream. <laughs> no way. Shout out to Ice, dude. <laughs> Um, I, I also just put in their format ideas, and that's because I was bouncing around some ideas in my head that I thought, now that we have some people watching live, might this might be a good time to fire them off. Um, and I would love, I just, <laughs> I'm looking at chat and it's tripping me up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Perky. <laughs> yeah. Y yes. So, I mean, the two things I was considering is how would the teams in this league feel about uh, having the choice as to who to play? So you could you could challenge teams, and obviously you would get more points based on how far ahead of you they were in the standings at the time you beat them, right? So yeah. So if like if like the last place oh, team, there's a, there's a link. There's a link to a yeah. giveaway. That's yeah. everywhere in the chat now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if like the last place team challenges the first and somehow they win, then I guess uh, they would get like 10 points. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But so, Yeah, so that, if you beat that, the team directly ahead of you, you would get 5 points. If you beat the team 10 things ahead of you, you would get 10 points or whatever. But the points yeah. don't matter. What matters is how do teams feel about the idea of being able to challenge as opposed to just having uh as opposed to just having set matches i think it's a pretty good idea until like everyone until all the teams are like really familiar with each other and like i don't know it's a good idea to try out cuz obviously you can you, you know like you said get more points for playing a better team so if you're if you're confident going in and you don't like and you've seen a certain team play a little bit and you want to challenge yourself and play them instead of just being matched up with a team you know nothing about i think that can end up better but uh yeah it's a pretty good idea i think to just try out see how it goes it shouldn't end badly Every at all single so. person on stream just checked their windows because they heard the windows noise <laughs> i did not hear it oh well thank god <laughs> I, I'm i not going to explain how that happens because I think chat actually has a form of control over when the Windows noise happens so that could be bad I'm going to figure it out okay so prize pool do you want to discuss what yeah. is happening with that right now so there is a fair amount of confusion uh, the way we're going to the way we're going to raise prize pool funding during the finals is we're going to set a goal starting at ten dollars and if we reach that fundraising goal during that match all the knife rounds will be played with a modifier like low gravity new alpha just figured it out we're in for bad time <laughs> um yeah but yeah so anyway knife rounds uh, if the goal's met, then the knife range will be played with low gravity. If the And also the third map will be randomly selected from the non-chat. <laughs> low, 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 low gravity. 
draft. So the knife draft. The third round, the third map will be randomly selected from the reserve map pool. Uh, minus Vertigo plus Nuke, because uh, Vertigo is <laughs> not a fun map to play competitively. You know, it's really fun to play <laughs> as, in any other way. Aztec isn't either. No, final no, match, so. they get Aztec. So uh, final match, Twitch get chat office. gets to vote. So that's <laughs> oh, no. we're gonna we're gonna see what happens. It's gonna be an exciting <laughs> twist because it's map three. If it's a clean two zero, it won't matter. Um. I want. I want it to. I want to see Aztec, Aztec in Italy. Yeah. So Twitch chat gets to choose. It'll be exciting. Are we ready to move on now? As chat figures out more about how to trigger Windows. <laughs> Wait, what's going on with Windows? I'm so confused. There's a. You have a command for it. No. no don't. Don't, don't explain oh. it. Don't explain it. I'll, so, I'll message you it. Okay. I'm so confused. So moving on to the pro scene section. As I just did. Nobody else is talking because they're busy convening how to create Windows noises. Um, no, I just have to add PM him. Okay, there we go. CSS Aztec. Finally, I can do something for my years of CSS. <laughs> Neil Elf is selling the information as to how to make Windows noises. <laughs> One key. <laughs> <laughs> It's all gone so nice. horribly wrong. Um, ah, inner peace. Find it. Um, I am happened <laughs> until Extreme Masters Kato Katowice Katowice, some Poland place. Yeah, Katapita, whatever. I like pizza. I don't like cats. <laughs> so that's that's, that's what I go place. with when people tell me I'm pronouncing it wrong. They say pizza. I get Kata Katowice. That's why. Kind of what's that? That's what I thought it was, and then someone, yeah. someone made fun kind of, of me, so I just called it pizza. Either way, I am Katavita. Uh, happened. When was that? that uh, was like last, last weekend. Last maybe? weekend. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So I picked out. I got really the, happy. I picked out some of the stories that so. seemed big to me coming out of it, and that was the Brazilians did incredibly well uh, but fell short when they faced Fnatic who won yet another tournament and are looking really unstoppable and Virtus Pro I don't think they won a single match no they won one they did they're so inconsistent dude they're weird they're, no they're, yeah. they're, they're very they're, consistent they beat they're phase. consistently they bad beat. <laughs> they beat FaZe they beat uh, this quick scoping guys Okay, thank you for that meme. Clown nine <laughs> verse throw. So if we're done with IEM already, oh, then let's it didn't, move on. It didn't switch. Then let's it didn't move switch. On. Uh, I put shroud nine too. Oh. Well, oh. <laughs> I'm moving on to a section I'm calling the biggest loser, and these teams have all had really bad times recently, Memes. and. For two of them specifically, Winterfox and TSM, I don't... Why do they exist anymore? Neither of them have accomplished anything. I haven't heard anything about TSM except for the roster changes, like, recently, and Winterfox, I've, last time I heard about them was probably January. Yeah. That's I don't know, I didn't... Time. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't watch like too much of that tournament because I had a lot going on. But I did, I did get to watch. I think it was maybe the semi pros or something. But it was Navi versus LG, which was actually a really good match. Um, that was actually particularly interesting because of the very nature of the map of Overpass. There were again more boosts coming out uh, from mm -hmm. teams on Overpass. I think it was Navi. I'm pretty confident. It was Navi. They did a, They did two triple boosts. They did one over towards party. So they, because you have to be in a corner to do the triple boost because your uh, your body is constantly sliding since you're hitting the skybox. But they just yeah. got in the corner and they could see all the way over to a site and just got an easy kill. So that was pretty cool. Is like the map just calls for it, dude. When you look at the like construction of the map, they also did it at long. You could, you could, they could literally just see over all of long and get a pick onto the A site. 
So like the map just, I don't know what it is about the map. It's just so prone to boosting for some reason. But I just thought that was cool to see another boost that's completely legal that was utilized in a smart way and people weren't too mad about it. But I thought that was that was like a standout part for me. Yeah. Um, I would have liked to see LG boost more, but you can't really have that happen. Like there's a couple counter boosts on B when they were trying to boost over um, by graffiti and then the, the T side defending would just boost right back at them and it just trade really evenly. So. Yeah, you just think about how many boosts there are just at each site. Even like on the CT side, you got the sandbags boost over towards graffiti, and then you can actually do a boost onto the actual sandbags at short, where you can see over all of Monster and see into like dang near their spawn. So you can like see over it if you get there in time. There's also you know on A site on behind the SWAT truck, you can just boost in that corner and see everything coming at you at the a site you can see highway bathrooms and long if you have an op so it's a pretty good spot if you can hit your shots and then you know you can basically triple boost anywhere you want that has a corner so i mean it's really it's a it's it used to be my favorite map because it's like so prone to creativity you have to like make your own strats it's not like something like mirage where if you go and play a pug on mirage you know, everyone knows all the set smokes. Everyone basically does the same things. Even though you can change, you can do like an A wall smoke on Mirage. Like, usually people know to just throw the three basic smokes at like A side on Mirage. But like, it's different on Overpass. You have to, you know, make up your own strat for it. Everything you do, it's has it's a really creative map. I think. Yeah. In. It's yeah. You just sort of throw your own smokes. And you just pop flash yourself pretty much everywhere like in uh connector you just pop pop flash yourself down and try to peek it and then like on the uh on the finals game jw just hold down there and then it wouldn't really work if you just pop flash yourself down but it's it's just a lot of guess and check so Mm -hmm. for sure but uh it's pretty cool to see brazil get more notice lately because of lg but yeah, and Tempo Storm, they did yeah. really, really well. Tempo Storm had so many upsets. I'm yeah, just, like the Brazilians have come in here with absolutely no infrastructure, and now the first two teams out of the region have done everything that the NA teams couldn't, and mm. the NA teams have infinitely more money. So I yeah. Think Frankly, the story of Brazil is the story of the failings of North America. Mm-hmm. I just honestly, personally, right now, I think Fallen is the best in-game leader in the world right now. I think he's, for me on my list, Fallen is the best in-game leader in the world. No one beats him right now, in my opinion, because he's still able to just frag out with his op or do whatever he needs to do. To help his team to victory it's like he he's a completely stable player you see a lot of igls like uh one that stuck out for me in the past was like gabi he's been such like he's such a smart player since he's been playing for so long he has all that experience i think, I think hunden is actually but he's just best. he's not always there like fallen is like fallen just consistently killing everyone so it's crazy yeah fallen's like an amazing clutch player too like all of lg is like freaking amazing at clutching like uh, the one, the five HP clutch on B site on the final game, just two v one and FNX, I think it was. He just popped both their heads, clutched around, and I choked mean, the rest of the game. But that's fine. <laughs> LG games in general are just really exciting games to watch, and I don't know if it's something specific to their play style or, as you say, all their players are really good at clutching. Um, yeah. but. It's watching LG play is really exciting, especially on Overpass. Now, can we talk about Virtus dot Throw in Cloud Nine? Yes, we can. I would like to talk about Cloud Nine because nothing nine. as the IGL. How do you guys? How do you guys feel about nothing in game leading for their team? I mean, I. 
on one hand, I remember watching one of their POV videos and seeing that he was doing a lot of mid-round calling and it was generally on point. Um, but on the other hand, he's also famed for not knowing anything, so I'm not really sure where the middle ground is that's actually the case. Yeah, he's like, everybody says that he's, uh, he doesn't know smokes, he doesn't know anything, and he's it's slacks during practice and all that, so, I mean, I would rather just, like, a loose calling style, like, everybody just sort of picks what they want to do, like, have, like, I don't know, Freakazoid just say, oh, yeah, I'm going to enter this round, and then have Scoodoodle, like, if on cash, just say, pick mid, have have someone with him and just like have that there and just have everybody call what they're going to do and just sort of work your way around whoever wants to call their round then do that then that'd be a better calling style than just having nothing as the sole leader yeah i think he's like he's definitely he deserves more credit than everyone gives him because he obviously doesn't know nothing or else he wouldn't be their in-game leader, even though none yeah, of the other people no, are nothing. qualified at all. No, no, not... he nothing. Knows no. Nothing knows <laughs> nothing. Sorry. But, uh... Be quiet, no. <laughs> uh... Either way, I think, like, he's such a good player sometimes, like, but he's... Honestly, I feel like he's peaked, and he's played very well at certain tournaments and certain events, but his time has almost just come and gone like he's we've seen i forget what exact tournament it was at but he's he's fragged out of his mind before but he's never i don't think he's ever just had too much experience calling and i don't think cloud nine should keep i feel like they just keep working their way around their roster like he go talk about it. there's some drama involved but um it's just that they like he go didn't want jordan on the team anymore but sean said that uh, they needed to have Jordan on the team for Sean to stay on the team. So now that Sean isn't on the team, I'm not saying, you know, kick Jordan or whatever, like necessarily, but it's just, it's obviously going to take some time for them to get used to like not having Sean there and everything because they don't have like a sole leader, but having a coach would help. First of all, I don't know why that hasn't happened yet, but I think that if this doesn't work out at all and their roster is developing, then they, the they, they need to pick up someone else. Is Cause they have, Stunner, or whoever, and I'm not really sure what his role is, but he might actually be He's acting the as their coach. Yeah, yeah Stunner's yeah. their manager, I'm pretty sure. He's their cheerleader, pretty much. <laughs> like, <laughs> Just I'm, sits back there and cheers him on. You make fun of it, but if I could have a personal cheerleader, I would say yes. <laughs> she gives Stunner pom poms. Can I give? Oh my. Can I give what's his name? The guy who was talking in chat, pom poms, and send him over to your place. <laughs> Perky. Yeah. <laughs> can we do that? Maybe, maybe no. we can give Knight some pom poms. He can just cheer <laughs> everyone on. He seems like the right kind of guy to do that. Yeah. Um, Winter Fox, or as I've spelt them, Winter Fox. Um. Oh. Have have achieved absolutely nothing. I mean, you look at them in any in any HL TV matchup, and you automatically know they're going to lose, right? I just yeah. I don't I don't understand why they're a not making changes or b not ditching the team altogether. Yeah, I mean. They are a tier three team, you know. You never see them play anybody. And then they play uh, tier one teams, and you just don't see them do anything really. It's like they get one or two, uh, one or two rounds. Yeah, I don't know why. Like TJ said, they haven't made any changes or anything. That's it's kind of odd. You normally see teams do that right about this point, or you know, do something at least different because yeah. it's obviously not working. I mean, on one hand, it's really it's it's commendable that they're sticking with a roster and trying to make it work. And they I would say they do have the talent on this roster, but they're just something they're doing isn't quite right and they're not making it work. Did you just Yeah, I don't Okay. Yeah. Alright, TSM. 
Um, yeah. So today they removed Vice after a trial period, I believe. And I I don't really see what's different from Vice for anyone else, right? The the same problems Vice was having that I think led to him getting cut from the team are exactly the same problems I see with the whole team. Just they're not they're not performing. What's the exact roster for TSF right uh, now? Johnny, the big side, the alligator eats the bigger number. So you put the big side towards the big number, and that's greater than. <laughs> so the first time is TJ greater than what? Jade, and the second time is TJ less than Jade, because the alligator is eating Jade the second time. I, I, <laughs> wait, what? TJ with his math lessons. Um... I remember doing that, but I used to use Pac-Man instead. Yeah, I use Pac-Man <laughs> too, TJ. That's got to be like a, got to be an EU thing. Yeah, <laughs> alligators. <laughs> <laughs> trying to find the roster, and I can't. Hey, I don't uh, even know it, honestly. I have no cares. idea. It's yeah. I yes. just... oh, here it is. Okay, got it. One sec. Team Solo mid um, roster. FNS, Semphis, Automatic, alligator. and Sick. Oh, so it's basically like the old, uh, what, what were they before, dude? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Complexity. complexity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know about them, dude. Semphis is, Semphis is a different player. I don't know. And so is FNS. It feels like it's just a lot of players just thrown together. Like, that lineup to me, like, I don't know anything. I haven't seen them play that much, but, like, well, the At question, first, listen, that just seems like a bunch of people just thrown into a team. The question for me is, who there is the star player? Because none of those players I look at and go, you know, we can expect big things from Semphis, and this guy's obviously the entry frag. I just don't, those are, those are just players, and none of them are exceptional in yeah, any way, shape, Yeah, that's what I'm saying, form. they're not even, Thanks, no, they don't even have, really like, set, me. like, roles, I don't know. Oh, more windows. Yeah. Uh, moving on, this is something I added because I think it's actually live for a while, but I didn't see anything really talked about here. Um, but the Sivo Gfinity Pro League is up and running with a one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollar prize pool, finals in London, and four single elimination brackets for both NA and DU. And I really didn't see any coverage of this, but I, I just found out right now. Yeah, I was watching Same. a couple of those games, <laughs> and it they were really good, and they were having really low viewership, and I was just really confused by that. Yeah, it wasn't advertised enough, I guess. Uh, I had no clue about it. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Gfinity and Sivo. With a hundred and twenty five thousand price pool. Oh, speaking of price pools, did you guys hear about that? Uh, the uh, every time they have an event now, Valve released that the minimum price pool is going to be a million dollars for a major. Or every every single event, there was some sort of message on it on the uh, forums that they posted on the last update that each one will be at least a million dollars. So like starting at Columbus, each one, you know million dollars so i think that's kind of cool that like the community's grown so far that they can afford to do that every single time like other games can only dream of having a million dollar tournament every single time so i just think that's kind of cool too yeah oh tj what did you just put up on the screen (laughs) (laughs) what is that oh my That was made by IceGG in chat uh, after he complained about our graphics. <laughs> I, you know what? Challenge accepted. Uh, if you make a vector art version of that, I will use that next show. Uh, as far as the prize pool goes, frankly, given the viewing figures, I think we broke 800,000 last time, last major. Frankly, given the viewing numbers, we should see uh, larger prize pools, and a million dollars seems to me like a fair minimum, considering that 
the Dota 2 leagues are in the hundreds of millions and crazy things like that. Yeah, that's a good point. I never really like looked at it that way, but each each event that happens, the viewers just go up and up and up. So eventually, you know, that'll just come with, you know, rising pool numbers. Oh my god, take that off the screen, <laughs> DJ. <laughs> It's like a strobe light. Oh. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> I pulled his eye. Yeah. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. All right. Uh, are we? Are we about done here then? Is there anything else we need to cover? I would assume so. I think. I think. Yeah, I think we're done. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. I guess, and we might or might not be live uh, later about six my time, which will be in just over an hour, with the uh, VLG versus Aspection game on the same channel. Two of the top teams in this league competing for first place. Neo Alpha gives me another Windows noise, thank you. <laughs> Choppy Cat dropped in just in time to say hello. Hello, Choppy Cat. Uh, we are going to try and do this at least once a week. Not sure if this is permanent time, but we will definitely tweet it out. If you are watching the stream and want to find out more, go ahead and follow us on Twitter at RedditLL. Go to the subreddit r slash League. And don't that doesn't work for us. Nightbot's on a lunch break, or Cobot's on a lunch Gotta break. Do, he's, he's gone. God, Nightbot, dude. He's on a lunch Gotta break. Do I don't know who gave him lunch time. I don't yes. know if he's your union oh. worker. I just... I'm kind of ashamed of the whole thing. Oh yeah, giveaway. We forgot about that. Uh, so suffer yeah. mine. Give me, give me the thing. I'm yeah. gonna win it. I hope I win it. I have two of fifty entries. I have two out of twenty-five chance. It's good enough for me. Four percent. Per four percent. Oh wait, never mind. Right. Yeah, four percent. The. I, I, link to enter just got put in chat again and it's being drawn now so if you act quickly you might barely get a chance to enter uh, i'm gonna go ahead i don't know should we just sit here on the screen here i'll, I'll go back in the presentation oh i, I minimized I... the presentation i'm sorry i should win i didn't even enter rip I Good. I didn't enter. Me. <laughs> Should have entered. I mean, it's too late now. Most, say sorry. Most of, most of it, I'll give the K third and the AK to the prize pool. I thought you were gonna give, gonna give them to me. No, I need skins. I thought we discussed like you'd give me like half too. Like before before this all started, you were like Frosty, I'm gonna give you half if I win. Mm, no, I didn't. The conversation totally went down, hundred percent. See, it's weird. He promised exactly the same thing to me. Uh, wow, we are getting that's... the winners right now. Perky Two K has walked away with a successful victory, along with Dean's <laughs> player. They will be. Splitting prize pools and Hamlet coming in as well with another victory. Uh, Doom's player apparently won twice. I don't know if that Whoa. means you get two parts of the pool, but that happened. Uh, Solar Bunny has also come in uh, for information on all of this stuff. Feel free to. Uh, message Suppermine, and he will connect you with your prizes. Robert Usery, Usery, and I wish that Andrew was me. Pajima. I win once. Oh no! Wait, he did, twice. he did win twice. He did win twice. I take it all back. It's rigged. All right. Thank you very much for watching. It I'm gonna go ahead and throw this. <laughs> Jade's upset. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this over to some music. Uh, I'm just a. Uh, 
Uh, if you did win, go ahead and message Sub and Mine on our Twitch, on our website, goladder.net, and follow us on Twitter, at redditll, subreddit r slash redditladderlink. Let's go over to some music. Bye. I'm just going to leave it here now to be awkward. <laughs>